pay athletes these fantastic salaries. I was listening to the radio the other day. They just contracted to pay one, one player on one team $6 million a year. Can you believe this? And why is that? It's the Roman circus. What does the emperor do when the people become restive? And when the people are asking questions, and when the people don't like the policies of the emperor, he sends them to the circus. He creates a circus. He builds a giant coliseum. And he begins to throw the Christians to the lions. And he has great chariot races, and football games, and basketball games, all to keep the idiots preoccupied with things that don't mean anything in the scheme of the entire world. So that they don't have the time to learn what the truth is. So they don't ever get smart enough to learn how they're being manipulated. So they don't ever question the emperor. That's why they pay a player on a football team or a baseball team a million or two million or three million dollars a year. It is the Roman circus. I know men who don't know anything in the world except who plays third base for the Mets. And they think that's a great accomplishment. And they meet and pat each other on the back and bond and go have cocktails and talk about what this guy that plays third base for the Mets did in last night's game. Sad. It's really sad. Is there any room in... in uh in a kind of society where these manipulations are not taking place for this type of entertainment or any type of entertainment at all? If people understand that a game is a game, if people understand that nobody, nobody, no matter what they do, is worth paying two or three million dollars a year for, people should be able to get rich if they want to mm -hmm. by the sweat of their individual labor, okay? By going out and doing something for the world. Mm -hmm. not by taking people's minds away from the emperor. It's a game. Football's a game. Football's a game. But let me tell you something. When 150 of the most powerful men and women in the world can meet in secret in Baden-Baden, Germany, and plot the fate of billions, and nobody even cares about it, but six football players go to lunch together, and it's in the headlines across the country. You have a reflection of the society in which that exists. And it is a sick, sick society that is doomed to self-destruction. Welcome to Mind Games Uncut. Good morning, family. It's your boy D Mays from Mind Games Uncut. Hope everybody's doing good this morning. I'm up early working on some stuff. Y'all know how it is. Y'all know how we do it. Um, yeah, man, I want to touch on some things. I want to talk about distractions. You know, you see my man William Cooper. It, it was an old video that he was talking about the uh, Roman circus, the emperor, and how he compared that with the government. You know, like, for instance, with this whole COVID-19 thing going on right now. I hear a lot of people all on social media talking about, oh man, this is affecting sports and you know, I ain't got no life now and you know, I hope this don't affect the NFL and I'm like, really? I'm like, are you serious? Like, you, are you worrying about sports right now? Let me tell y'all something. You got baseball, basketball, hockey, soccer, you got football, but out of all them sports, football, people go crazy over. Just like, like he said, if you look at the colors, like the, 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 um, or like the cop, well, the domes, the stadiums, they look like big coliseums back in the days of Rome. When they had a gladiator fights and stuff. And people used to pay to see people die. Same with sports, especially come to football. Football is a brutal sport, y'all. But at the same time, you know, we are obsessed with it. Let me tell you, I like sports. I mean, I got, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a whole time a Falcon fan, but I'm not, it's entertainment for me, y'all. It's entertainment. Like he said, you got more people know everything about, um, like a lot of these players. You got some people know Tom Brady, whole life story, but don't know nothing about politics, nothing about economics, 
and too much they don't know about the, nothing about themselves. You know, so you people get mad when we say things like this, but it's it's real, y'all. It's real. We you know we gotta get our priorities straight. Like that's entertainment, and at the end of the day. What are them people doing for you? They're not doing nothing but doing entertainment. Okay, every once in a while they have a little charity thing going on, but they're not doing nothing to help society. Just entertainment to take your mind off what's really going on. You know, a lot of y'all are stressed out for other things, bills and all that. Then you can't wait till Sunday or Saturday to watch the football games and take your mind off of it. Believe me, I I used to be really like addicted to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not when I be on when I talk about it now, it's more like fun and play. You know what I'm saying? Repping my home, my city, but y'all know what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? People know what I do. So it ain't like, oh, he's just doing something for the moment. And then, like I said, a lot of folks gonna see this video. I'm like, oh man, he just a hater, da da da. He don't know what he's talking about. But it's true. What? Let me tell you. First, let's keep it real. Let's let's tell the truth here, y'all. Why in the hell do somebody who throw a football make hundreds of millions of dollars? Y'all know it's his skill set. Everybody can't do it, but you got somebody who's a doctor, a teacher, a police officer. They risk their life every day. Somebody helping your child in school. Why they make so much less? And then, like I say, you don't have them guys that go to college. They get kind of pushed through college and stuff. They take, like, class. I'm not knocking, like, physical education because, you know, I'm a trainer. But at the same time, what's PE? Well, I mean, you taking little small courses. And stuff. Some of the guys are small. I ain't going to take that away from all of them. But really, come on, man. You walking out of college making a couple million dollars. You know what I'm saying? But you got somebody who went to school for a couple of years to be a teacher to teach your child to deal with they mess. You know what I'm saying? All these different personalities. And they don't make nothing. A doctor that saves lives don't make millions of dollars. That makes no sense. There's a lot of people I can talk about that should be making a whole lot of money. Like I said, I'm not knocking the players. Get yours, but... Say why some of them uh, take a cut back when they try to, you know, stay on the team and stuff. They know they're making too much money. But, but the main thing we're talking about is how Americans and everybody across the world get distracted off of sports, man. Even now, like I said, when this thing cool, when this thing cool down and stuff, when it reaches peak and all that stuff, and they do have the NFL. Oh my God, oh man, the NFL gonna make so much money because people have been in their houses for so long. They just been waiting for something, you know, and. Unfortunately, sports is they, you know, therapy. Sports is what gets them off. You know what I'm saying? And believe me, I've been barber shops. I hear brothers talking. I mean, like I said, I met one time years ago. This guy was telling me um, he was working a job, and it, I forgot what who played the Super Bowl, or whatever. And he said uh, everybody went crazy talking about, you know, well, they were, leading up to the Super Bowl, everybody was like, "Yeah, man, I can't wait." So this is going. Well, I think New York Giants were playing or some somebody. And he said people were just going crazy the whole week before the Super Bowl. And say this guy I had said, hey, man, are y'all serious? Y'all acting like this going to change the world, like the Super Bowl going to change the world. Like all the people, people starving and stuff like that. And y'all think this is like, like the Super Bowl, like some kind of something that's going to do something big for humanity. I'm like, wow. This, my partner told me this a while back. Now, I'm kind of changing the world, not, you know, but... That what he said in so many words that the guy was basically saying, y'all sit up here acting like this thing, this 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 event is going to change the way the world is. The world's still what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, they, and that's why they distract people all the time with sports. And I, always, I really wanted to talk about this anyway a while back. You know what I'm saying? Because it's amazing. Not just everybody, black, white, Asian, whatever. Everybody's caught up in sports, man. I didn't realize how addicted I was to sports till like I got older. You know what I'm saying? I watch it still now, but it's, it's not the same, y'all. Especially like when Mike Vick was playing. Oh man, you couldn't tell me nothing, boy. Mike Vick was like a god to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the brother was talented and everything, but still, all these guys making all these millions of dollars. And the sad part about it, a lot of them will make this money and go broke because it was too much at one time, y'all. It was too much. Well, you could have been doing a lot in the community, man. You could have started up your business, you know, employ your people, all that good stuff. But like I said, this is just about the distraction, how sports is a distraction. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all, like what's going on right now, like I tell everybody, the, the, the aftermath math is worse than the virus. Because what's going to come after this, y'all need to be staying focused. Y'all need to keep your eyes open. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm not even really been watching TV. You know, like, I ain't even watching, like, 
if I hear any updates on this thing, it might be popped up on YouTube or Top Buzz, or I might see it on social media when I'm on it. But don't be distracted by what's going on out here, cause it's about this thing about to get thick, and a lot of y'all gonna be, you know, I mean, a lot of y'all gonna be left behind, man. Y'all better get with the program. You know what I'm saying, like I said, it's what's gonna happen anyway. It just are you ready? Are you prepared? To go to the next level, level the next phase in life. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all going to be left behind because a lot of y'all still distracted. Like sports and a lot of BS and going to the clubs and you know, getting high all the time. Getting drunk all the time. You know what I'm saying? This thing is real out here, y'all. Prepare yourself. It's alright if you want to watch sports, whatever. But understand it's just entertainment. Entertainment, y'all. That's all it is. Sports is entertainment. It's nothing else. Them guys get paid to do that. You don't. You take it more serious than they do. You have people here want to fight. Like those stupid fans up in Philly. You know, so I'm not knocking my people in Philly. I got friends in Philly. But I'm talking about them crazy fans that be killing people and beating people up. Over what? You didn't get paid for that. You're going to jail and you're going to get a record. For what? Because somebody don't like your team or somebody said something about a player you don't like. That makes no sense. That is crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you got them in other in cities too. But I'm just saying, I talked to a particular fan base. That makes no sense. Think about it, y'all. If you sit back, hit the reset button. That's what we're doing right now, this whole thing, y'all. Everybody need to hit the reset button because some of the stuff we do don't make no sense. We all, we we waste time on nothing. Have y'all don't even know what y'all want to be. Like, you know, a lot of y'all try, a lot of guys who want to play sports, you know, like basketball and baseball, you know, I, I notice a lot of people will try to live they dream through their kids they try to force their kids to play sports and stuff i noticed that a lot i got a lot of guys i know like their friends who make their children some of their kids they want to play football but they want them to play football because they want to go pro they might have you make they might be right grades in school or college or they had a bomb knee they try to play basketball or something like that but look teach your kids how to be a doctor how to be an archaeologist how to be, you know what I'm saying? Learn you know, learn to trade and stuff just in case they don't work. See, a lot of y'all just go you know, be pushing y'all kids to play sports. I see it still to the day. A lot of people will push their kids to play sports and nothing else. A child should know where they want to be around 10, 11 years old. You know what I'm saying? Especially in our community. Oh, man, he's going to be the next this. He's going to be the next that. He's going to be the next Michael Jordan. He's going to be the next LeBron. He's going to be the next Michael Vick, Lamar Jackson. No, he's going to be himself. Stop putting that crap in your kids' head, especially our people. Know what I'm saying because we need to learn to trade. Like, hey, why you can't be like the next Bill Gates? Why you can't be like the next? You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to think of a brother who, uh, <laughs> you know, I want to always use white people, but I'm just saying, like even even uh, Zuckerberg, the one made Facebook. Look how he came up with something simple, man. How to connect everybody together, brothers and sisters. Teach your kids how to do stuff like that. Teach them about robotics. Teach them about nanotechnology. Teach them about automation. Teach them how to, you know run their own logistic company distribution you know what i'm saying you think elon musk don't teach his kids what he know elon musk that guy's a smart guy but you think he don't teach his kids what he know you know what i'm saying so we got a lot of intelligent people out there a lot of our people are intelligent a lot of black people are intelligent we got to teach our kids it's bit like sports I, I i play sports but i didn't understand what it was they were teaching me discipline i took karate and stuff like that but at the end of the day, all the uh, majority of the people, man, you know how many percentage of people who really make it pro? You know how many people out here in the streets right now who are better than some of the people you see on TV? Think about that. Y'all know some of these people. You know what I'm saying? You you, you got to understand, y'all. Life ain't all, all, all always about partying, sports, and all that. You got to have a game plan out here, man. I can't stress that enough. You got to have a game plan. You know what I'm saying? Because it's survival of the fittest. And these people higher up know these things. They know who's going to make it, who's not going to make it, who I want to study the totem pole. Who, they study people. They study everybody. They study everybody, man. Sports is entertainment. That's all it is. Just something to pass by. Then you go back to work, back to the job you hate. You know what I'm saying? The bosses and coworkers you hate. Doing the 8 to 9 to 12 hours. You know what I'm saying? Come home. Half the time, y'all, you know, come home, get on the TV, watch ESPN, see what's going on in the sports world. I might watch the news, get more distracted. All BS, y'all. Think what I'm saying. Think about what I'm saying, y'all. 
this is something that most people don't talk about. And that's why I started the video out with William Cooper. He was bringing it down back in the days, man. This guy, these, I'm telling you, it's people like us. We look at it. Like I said, I used to be crazy about sports. See, one thing about me, I'm going to keep it real. I used to be into that junk like crazy. But I understand this. It's just a distraction, y'all, to keep y'all eyes off what's really going on out here. And it's happening right now. So think about what I said. I'm out here. Make sure I hit the like button a thousand times. This is a good video. Make sure y'all share this video because this is something that people need to know about. Like, share, to subscribe to Mind Games Uncut. Uh, make sure y'all go to uh, my cash app. I'm going to put it at the bottom. Make sure y'all support this, what we doing. You know what I'm saying? We I don't care if it's a dollar or two dollars, but this is what we do. We get the information out. You know what I'm saying? And I like to shout out all the new black media for what y'all doing. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to do this thing together. We got to get information to our people. And that being said, y'all, I'm out of here. Peace.